so it, go, it goes up? That? 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 No, no I, can't, I can't. I can't. No, behind. I'm not, I'm, like, it's just, it's tough because I have like a lot of like, no, I have a range of motions. I have, I have more than Right, boys and girls, welcome back to High Foods, and we are here with supposedly LA's best tacos. LA's best? Disclaimer, LA's best crunchy tacos. All right, so Tito's is pretty well known here in Southern California. They serve crunchy tacos. They also serve burritos. It's one of the first taco places that I've tried in LA. And I think it's a really cool representation of LA because their crunchy tacos are not known in Mexico, but they are made here in LA, and the people love them here. Not only are they known for their tacos, but their bean and cheese burritos and enchiladas are really popular as well. We're gonna go in and order some tacos, feed the squad, and see if this is really LA's best taco. Boom! All right, so we have our tacos here. I don't know if you can see them. Tito's tacos. So this is a crispy taco. It's just the meat, cheese, lettuce, right? Meat, yeah. cheese, lettuce. Pretty basic, simple ingredients. But I mean, the line here is always long, so must be good, huh? Yeah. All right. You gonna go for the dressed one? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the undressed. Undressed. All right, LA's best taco, supposedly. Time to check. Cheers. Oh! The meat has a different texture than I was expecting. Because, you know when you eat the crunchy tacos, you think about Taco Bell or crunchy tacos you make at home. You get that ground beef, but this is like a shredded beef, right? Shredded beef. The shell is extra hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Low-key cut my mouth. <laughs> hey. But it's good. The flavors all work together. It's just like simple. Yeah. I Honestly, this is like... You know how like at taco restaurants, they have like cilantro, onions, red salsa, radish, whatever. This is if you had like a white girl, gluten-free, come in, it's like, I just want the bare bones of a taco. This is it. Yep. The flavors are basic, but I mean, people love it. Yeah. What do you mm. think? I don't know. It, it, it's good. It's different. It's definitely different. It's, it's especially different from the LA taco scene, because those are really authentic tacos. This is like... American tacos. I would definitely say there is nothing hype about the taco. Yeah. But it does the job. Yeah. LA's best taco? Debatable. Debatable. 100%. LA's best. But LA's best crunchy taco? Maybe. LA's best meat, lettuce, cheese, and shell? I'll give it that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there's nothing really out of this world about it. It's really just a taco. Here, let's get some guac on there, a little salsa too. All right, let's throw the guac. We go for the dipper. I was gonna go for the pour, but turn it up with a dip. All right, let's get this. See if it makes a difference. I think I like that better. Hundred percent. I mean, guac makes everything better, but it cuts through that savoriness of the taco. I'm gonna go with salsa. Oh, you're gonna salsa? I'm gonna go pour because you said go pour. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go pour. I'm gonna go on this one. Salsa Ooh. test. I think anytime you add like a fresh, like bright element to the taco, it makes it a lot better. Yeah, 100%. You need that acidity, savoriness to cut through all the beef and cheese. I could probably pound down like 10 of these like that. To be honest, I, okay, not about 10, maybe like five. Yeah. I would say the guac and the salsa necessities. Almost like ranch to my chicken nuggets. Yeah? Okay, chicken nugget by itself, honestly can't do it. Yeah, yeah. But it's with the sauce, amazing. Yeah, I'm already finished mine. All right, guys, so we have a lot more tacos here to go through. We're gonna keep eating, let our team eat, and I guess we'll come back to you with our final thoughts. All right, guys, so we just finished our <laughs> meal. So the tacos are great. Probably the best crunchy taco I've ever had. If there is a taco that described LA, it would be this one. Because all the authentic tacos are more about being from Mexico, you know? But this is very Los Angeles. I think the crunchy taco might have been born here. 
statement. I don't know about that. <laughs> All I know is that Tito's has been making these tacos since like 1959, I think. So that's a freaking long time. That's almost 50 years. Is it? Whoa. That's more than 50. 60 years. Whoa. Whoa. So I definitely uh, like the tacos with a little bit of sauce. Like the salsa was good with it and the guac was good with it. Yeah. I don't really like it by itself, but I don't think that's what it's meant for. Yeah. I think that having the guacamole on there definitely raised the level of the taco. Yeah, I mean, it was just like such an LA kind of thing. Yeah, nothing flashy, just LA, I guess. It's just the bare bones of a taco made in the way that LA knows how to do it. I just want to thank you guys again for coming along with us. If you did like the video, please give us a big thumbs up. And if this is your first time watching, please hit that subscribe button. And if you do already subscribe, please hit that bell button so you can get all of our notifications. And I guess we'll see you guys next time on Hype.